Aries, welcome. Aries, we're going to do a general read for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to use a different deck. I haven't used this deck in a while. This is the dark, the Royal Dark Tarot deck. And we're going to do a general. We're going to look at a couple of things. Your current energy, desire, outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. Keep in mind, we will clarify all of those cards. And at the end, we will pull three more cards around the read. Keep in mind, this is a general. It may not resonate with everybody. Keep what resonates, leave the rest. So let's get started into your read and see what is going on for you today in your current situation. Current energy. Uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is this preparing for the future. Um, the desire. Ten of Swords. An end to something. And then we look at the Hermit in the outcome. The Hermit speaks to being alone, figuring out one's path. The Emperor is what's working for you. That's your current energy, or your own energy, sorry. And then the Five of Cups is what you need to be aware of. Regret, discontent, that type of thing. But let's start to clarify. So the Seven of Cups, we have the Chariot, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. This feels kind of like you're trying to take action, but it's taking a lot of strength. Or are you sitting back? And I see there's a balance between the two. It's kind of like, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm putting all of this effort, I know where I'm going, um, but with the Queen of Pentacles, uh, you're trying to be practical about it and you're trying to balance the two and sometimes that gets tough and the way that I'm looking at this uh, it looks like the chariot is winning in that battle or balancing act <clears throat> with the ten of swords the desire for something to be over we have the death card the sun card and the king of swords you're wanting major change you're wanting major change in a good way. And that change is only going to come about by you sitting down and planning your way through it. Um, the word that comes to my mind is actually hacking your way through it, like cutting off that which is not working for you, just really sitting down, putting those, those things together, and being very focused on thinking how this is actually going to go through for you. The Hermit. We have the Five of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Cups in the outcome. So figuring out your path, going inside and understanding your inner wisdom and using that inner wisdom to learn and grow with the Five of Wands here. The Five of Wands can be conflict, and then we have the Ace of Wands, which is a new start. So you're starting to really learn the things that you want and don't want in life. And with the Six of Cups, there is something from the past that you're looking at starting your life with. So this is something where you're going in and you're like, okay, there are things that I really understand what I sort of want now. And you do, and there is something from the past that you might have let go of that you want back. Now we have the Emperor, which is your energy, but underneath that we have the King of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. And I get from this, emotionally, you're stable with the Nine of Pentacles here. 
we understand that there's a lot of creativity and emotional stability there. But at the same time, it's almost like it lacks excitement for you. It lacks the... You're fine by yourself, but it lacks... It lacks some... Um, luster is the word that comes to mind. So what you need to be aware of, we have the Five of Cups. And this is regrets. We have the Nine of Cups, which is wish talks about wish fulfillment. The Eight of Pentacles, which talks about working on your things. And the Four of Wands, the stability. And I get that there are some regrets that you might have, and this could be from the past or it could be happening now, around the Nine of Cups, the wishes that you've had, and starting to work on things. And it's like you're shifting direction, starting to work on things, and starting to work on um, this Four of Wands, this stability, this home life, the happiness. Uh, we have the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the King of Pentacles that shows up as the final three cards. Now this is interesting because there is a relationship underneath all of this. We have the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. We also have the King of Pentacles. Oh, sorry, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles that have shown up. So there is a relationship underneath this. The Six of Wands, as you start to go through this and you start to understand the things that are going on in your life, it allows you to move forward with determination and rise above, even though things may not be as clear as you'd like them to be. Uh, people notice. People notice that you care a lot about what goes on in life around yourself and those that you serve with the King of Pentacles here. And we see that even though we have, we do have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So there is a relationship here, two relationships that are very, very significant. Um, and we see that the effort that goes into creating that life and that um, stability can be very, very emotional for you. It can be upsetting. It can mess with your emotions. But as long as you stay focused in those things, you can move forward and create all of those things that, that you desire. Um, that's what I have for you today, Aries. An interesting read. Uh, these cards are so different from a lot of the more traditional tarot decks, but really like it nonetheless. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'll talk to you next time. Stay safe.